As early as 2023, reports about China's fourth nuclear-powered aircraft carrier under construction began surfacing. However, many people were skeptical, believing such a development was nearly impossible. After all, the United States took around 40 years to transition from its first aircraft carrier to its first nuclear-powered one, while China's experience with aircraft carrier technology spanned less than two decades. Yet, in the first half of 2024, satellite images revealed that the main structure of China's Type 004 aircraft carrier was nearly complete. Initially, analysts examining the images estimated its displacement could reach 115,000 tons, potentially surpassing the U.S. Ford-class aircraft carrier. Even so, some remained unconvinced that it was nuclear-powered. By late 2024, American media reported that China was developing a system to test ship-based nuclear reactors, reigniting outside speculation. Around the same time, a Chinese shipyard showcased a model of an aircraft carrier, which notably lacked a chimney, an unmistakable sign that it was nuclear-powered. In today's video, we will examine the progress of China's fourth aircraft carrier and its formidable capabilities and equipment. If you enjoy our content, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest videos. Now let's dive into today's topic. Have you noticed? Back in 2022, when the Fujian aircraft carrier was launched, China had already reported that a fourth aircraft carrier was under construction, rumored to be the most technically advanced nuclear-powered one yet. Interestingly, U.S. media claimed that construction of this fourth carrier actually began as early as 2021 and predicted it might be launched between 2026 and 2027. However, the Chinese military has not confirmed these reports. Not only do Western military analysts doubt China's ability to produce a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier so quickly, but even some Chinese military enthusiasts find the claim hard to believe. Why is there such skepticism? Looking at the timeline, it makes sense. China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was commissioned in 2012. The second, the Shandong, was launched in 2017, followed by the Fujian in 2022. All three are conventionally powered, with one being an adaptation of an older foreign carrier. In contrast, the United States launched its first conventional-powered aircraft carrier in 1922 and took 38 years to introduce its first nuclear-powered one in 1960. So if someone suggests that China could achieve this milestone in just 20 years, it does sound remarkable, maybe even unrealistic. However, what surprised many in 2024 was the latest intelligence regarding China's fourth aircraft carrier. Based on my investigation, several key pieces of information surfaced this year. First, satellite photos revealed the construction site of the Type 004 aircraft carrier. The images indicated that its size was comparable to the USS Ford. Soon after, multiple American media outlets reported that China was developing and testing nuclear reactors specifically for naval use. This reactor was said to have a 10-meter diameter and a height of 15 meters, meeting all the necessary requirements for an aircraft carrier. By late 2024, a major Chinese shipbuilder publicly displayed a model of the Type 004 aircraft carrier, and observant netizens quickly noticed that the model lacked a chimney further reinforcing the idea that this was a nuclear-powered vessel. So, how powerful is China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier? In general, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is a large warship that relies on carrier-based aircraft as its primary combat force. It typically operates within an aircraft carrier battle group. Compared to conventionally-powered carriers, nuclear-powered ones have significant technological advantages. For instance, they greatly surpass traditional aircraft carriers in endurance, fuel efficiency, logistical needs, and overall combat effectiveness. More importantly, nuclear-powered carriers not only generate sufficient energy for themselves, but can also supply power to their carrier-based aircraft and accompanying ships within the battle group, reducing dependence on external logistical support. Practically speaking, having nuclear-powered aircraft carriers allows a nation's navy to conduct long-term operations far from its homeland, apply military pressure on adversaries without relying on nearby airbases, and even engage in combat operations. This is why nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are often referred to as mobile sea bases. 
For any military power, one of the greatest advantages of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers is their exceptional range capability. After a single nuclear refueling, such a vessel can travel an astonishing 2 million kilometers. This is equivalent to completing 50 full laps around the Earth. This stands in stark contrast to conventionally powered aircraft carriers, which, even when fully loaded with fuel, can only achieve a maximum range of approximately 22,000 kilometers. At present, only two nations operate nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, the United States and France. The U.S. leads with a formidable fleet of 11 active nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, while France operates a single one. If China successfully completes the construction of its 004 aircraft carrier, it will officially become the third country in the world to possess this advanced naval capability. This milestone would significantly elevate China's naval power and strategic influence on a global scale. The 004 aircraft carrier has captured international attention as the latest generation of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. Military experts from around the world, through detailed analysis of satellite imagery, estimate that the 004 aircraft carrier measures approximately 335 meters in length and 83 meters in width. This expanded size not only allows for a larger flight deck, but also provides the capacity to carry over 80 carrier-based aircraft. Remarkably, this dimension exceeds even that of the most advanced American Ford-class aircraft carriers currently in service. Such a design suggests that China's nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is poised to reach new heights in terms of performance, combat capability, and operational efficiency. Additionally, experts speculate that the displacement of the 004 aircraft carrier could reach a staggering 115,000 tons, surpassing the 112,000 ton displacement of the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier. The significant tonnage increase translates into enhanced durability, increased capacity for aircraft, more advanced onboard systems, and improved endurance in prolonged maritime operations. Analysis of satellite images suggests that the 004 aircraft carrier will be equipped with three aircraft elevators and four state-of-the-art electromagnetic catapults. Notably, two of the aircraft elevators appear to be positioned on the starboard side, located ahead of the island superstructure, while the third is situated at the rear on the port side. This strategic layout is designed to optimize takeoff and landing efficiency for carrier-based aircraft, streamlining air operations, and enhancing combat deployment flexibility. The electromagnetic catapult system, a hallmark of advanced aircraft carriers, is already a tested technology, having been implemented on the Fujian aircraft carrier. Given that the 004 aircraft carrier represents the next evolution in China's carrier development, it is expected to be fully equipped with this cutting-edge technology. Electromagnetic catapults provide a significant advantage over traditional steam catapults, allowing aircraft to launch more efficiently while reducing mechanical stress on both the launching system and the aircraft themselves. Beyond the electromagnetic catapult system, another highly anticipated feature of the 004 aircraft carrier is the performance of its nuclear reactor. Based on leaked reports and media analyses, the nuclear reactor on this aircraft carrier is expected to generate a massive 125 megawatts of power. 25 megawatts more than the 100 megawatt reactors used in the U.S. Navy's Nimitz-class carriers. This increase in power output not only provides a more robust energy supply for the carrier's operational needs, but also allows for the integration of more advanced weaponry and electronic warfare systems. A more powerful reactor also means the carrier can accommodate additional energy-intensive systems, such as high-powered radar arrays, directed energy weapons, and advanced communication infrastructure. Furthermore, this carrier will form a battle group alongside China's formidable Type 055 destroyers. These powerful warships are equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry, including hypersonic missiles with an impressive range of 1,500 kilometers. This extended range significantly enhances the battle group's long-range anti-ship and anti-aircraft carrier capabilities, ensuring that the fleet remains a dominant force in naval combat scenarios. From its advanced electromagnetic catapult technology to its cutting-edge nuclear reactor performance, the 004 aircraft carrier marks a major step forward in China's naval expansion. The overall strength of China's maritime forces is rising rapidly, and this progress has not gone unnoticed by the United States. The rapid pace at which China has advanced in aircraft carrier construction has sparked growing concerns within the U.S. Navy. Why? 
Because for decades, U.S. aircraft carrier battle groups and nuclear-powered submarines have served as the backbone of American maritime dominance. The United States has long held an unrivaled position in global naval power. But China's technological and strategic advancements are beginning to challenge this dominance. To put this into perspective, as of 2024, there are 30 active aircraft carriers worldwide. The United States currently leads with 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, maintaining its status as the most formidable naval force. In 2017, the U.S. Navy, this carrier introduced multiple advancements, including an advanced electromagnetic catapult system, a next-generation radar array, and an optimized combat command system. However, with China's rapid breakthroughs in naval engineering, the dominance of the Ford class may soon be challenged by the emergence of the 004 aircraft carrier. Historically, the United States dismissed China's ability to build and deploy aircraft carriers, but that skepticism has been proven unfounded. Since the commissioning of its first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, in 2012, China has rapidly expanded its naval fleet. In just over a decade, the country has put three aircraft carriers into service, and now, the completion of the 004 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is imminent. According to reports, construction of China's fifth aircraft carrier, the 005 nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, has already begun at Shanghai's Jiangnan shipyard. This development indicates that China is currently working on two nuclear-powered aircraft carriers simultaneously, accelerating its military expansion even further. Reports suggest that both the 004 and 005 aircraft carriers will follow the same model, featuring displacements exceeding 100,000 tons and integrating four electromagnetic catapults. Additionally, the primary carrier-based aircraft for these vessels is expected to be the J-35 stealth fighter, or possibly China's future sixth-generation fighter, the J-36. Interestingly, leaked model images of the 005 aircraft carrier have provided additional insights. Renderings indicate that this vessel will incorporate a full-length straight-deck design, vastly improving the efficiency of carrier-based aircraft takeoff and landing operations compared to traditional ski-jump decks. U.S. media analysts predict that by 2030, China could possess up to 10 aircraft carriers with aviation combat capabilities. If these forecasts prove accurate, China will not only rival, but potentially surpass the world's leading naval powers. Such a shift would fundamentally reshape global maritime dominance, positioning China as a formidable force in naval warfare. With an expanding fleet and continual technological advancements, China's aircraft carrier battle groups are on course to become a strategic challenge to existing global superpowers. To stay updated on these developments and future projects, make sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. We will continue bringing you the latest news and insights into global military advancements and technological breakthroughs.